Our big deal of the day is something that if you've been a Jim Shore collector for the 15 years that he's been here, you can't miss this. He's done an Easter basket for us every single year since 2004, but recently started what was called the White Woodland Collection, which is a little more subdued in your colors, a little closer to what you were doing for family as opposed to what you had done for, for those of us outside. And it is a beautiful creation that tells an entire story <laughs> of spring, of love, of renewal. It's a gorgeous little basket. And it's not, not gigantic, but it's the perfect size. That's eight and three quarter inches in height by about six inches for the length. I, I really enjoy that you did not one, but four individual Easter eggs. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, Daniel, that, that has presented a, if there's anything that's a challenge in what I do, and usually what I do as far as get, coming up with the ideas and so forth is kind of almost spon spontaneous, you know. I don't, right. It comes from somewhere, you know. It's like like mining, you know. I just stick a shovel in my in my my creative How mind. How cool and is that, though? That out it comes. At the same time, and by the way, every single one of these pieces is painted by hand with a brush. All total hand. All from of From start to finish, this is a handmade piece. Now, this might not be the original, right. But it's as close as you can possibly get, and and it's inspected, and it's it's it it's true to the original in every 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 way. And it's all hand done from the, the whole process. It's the castings process, the, cl the cleaning, the fettling, the sanding, and all that kind of stuff that we do, the etching, and then the painting with high density lacquer painted on there by an artist with a brush. And it becomes part of the piece. As you can see, because right. of the etching we do and because of the, the yeah. quality of the paint, which is, I will say, the highest quality lacquer paint available in the world goes onto these pieces and you can't get it off. It becomes part of the piece. And they look so. this way, they look perfect for years. Yeah, they're forever. Uh, I know people who collect just the eggs. Well, th yeah. The, well, just you the know, eggs. The, the, and you get four of them. But here's the deal. I do these, th I've done these things, these eggs, you know, four or five in every basket for uh, 15 years. They're never the same. And I've done also four seasons baskets. Oh, that's true. That's every true. year. That's true. <laughs> and if you. That's true. I forgot every, about that. Every single one of them has to be completely different, <laughs> but be the same. Well, <clears throat> you would touch on this earlier. Do you somewhat feel that in the exact same moment you are artist and also viewer? Yeah, yeah, well, that's that's a good way of putting it, actually, because you know when I people will say, "What inspires you? What's the what's the dynamics here? How, how do you how do you do all this? How do you come up with all these things? How do you do you know 500 Santa Clauses or 1,000 right. angels, and all of them are different, but you look at them and they're all recognizable as a Jim as Shore yours, piece? Yes. And how do you do that? You know, well, to tell you the truth, it's one of those things that it's like if if you were to say, you know, what's to somebody, what's five times five? They just say twenty-five. They wouldn't think okay. of the mechanism that goes into five times sense. this. Yep. Five, yeah, you know, and, and and it's kind of like that. I mean, if if you know, we have a brainstorm and we put together a list of things that I have to do to, for line extensions, and we want so many more angels, we want some activities, we want this, we want that. The, all the co-brands, with Disney wants this, and you know, Coke wants this, and, and so on. And we <laughs> compile this list. Right. I look at the list and I'll go right down the list and I'll say, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, you know, Four Seasons Angels, okay, immediately, an um, image of Four Seasons Angels will in. immediately come into my head. That's then I will do this little mental exercise where I review every one I've ever done. Okay. Now, I don't know how that happens, That's but it always cool. happens. Okay. Then I go to the second one. I do the same thing. I go to the third one. I go to the same thing. If there's 200 on the list, by the time I get down to 200, I have a file cabinet in my mind of everything now that I'm okay. going to go out to the studio and actually do. That never changes. That never That's changes. And so the design part of it is actually done. It's right up here. And I just pull it out and I say, okay, now I'm ready to do this. Well, also, I've had a chance to watch you work and you make it look so effortless, which for someone like myself is, is a joy to see amazingly frustrating to watch because by the way for those of you who, who are Jim Shore fans let me tell you something about this guy the reason why you love him and the reason why you love his pieces there's a certain innocence a certain charm a wonderful just thankfulness in every piece this man 
lays himself out exactly as he is in every piece of artwork he does. And the man that you think you know is the guy you know. Wow. That's, to me, that's what's so refreshing. And we call art an expression. But this is truly you. I mean, uh, it's vulnerable. It's almost naked in that you put out how you feel and people embrace it and love it. Well, it is a little bit different than some things that, you know, that, that you see and like, you know what I mean? Because yeah. uh, uh, it's not like, I'm not a salesman, you know? I'm not, I'm not anything but just an artist. And, uh, you know, the, the thing that- Just an artist. Well, the thing <laughs> that makes it so heartwarming and so rewarding for me is, is that I do what I am passionately in love with doing. And I've done it. Dan, when I started doing this stuff, years ago when I started actually dedicating myself to artwork, yep. Jan and I were living in a mule shed yeah. and we were absolutely penniless. Yeah. And that didn't matter. We were in love and we were, you know, and we had we were happy and we were working to, you know, to do what we were gonna do. She, and, she's every bit as beautiful today as she was when you met. I agree, you know, know? I agree. I joke with people, uh, with Jim Shore and I go, you know, I don't, people don't know this about his mustache. That's also hand carved and hand painted. <laughs> Yeah, you want to borrow it sometime here. Yeah, you know, yeah, like. yeah. This, this to me, and I, I find myself repeating myself often because as you do new pieces, they speak to me, and I know you as an individual. People who have never met you, it still speaks to them as an individual. You can tell it's Jim's work, but there has been this incredible evolution, and this, these newer pieces of the white woodland, to me are an inner glimpse into that whimsy and sense of, of warmth and family that you have. Because these are the types of pieces you did for true loved ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, see, that's how that got started actually. You know, um, I'm known in the, in the art world, you know, and we've talked about this earlier, you know, as a colorist, because I use this wide palette of, The, the know, carver with the bright colors that look like quilts. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And, and so, that, so that's what everybody knows. But, but I do a, a, a vast amount of different different types of mm -hmm. artwork and different types of carving and different types of statues. You know, I did that ten foot bronze uh, that's that, you know for uh, donated that yes. I donated to the entry of the Special Forces headquarters at Fort Bragg. Mm -hmm. So I do th different things, you know, and, and I, I I paint portraits and and so forth. But uh, <clears throat> but when I'm doing this, you know, I I have sort of one styling that I do for the for that I put out there to the, you know, to share with the public. Yep. And then I do a lot of other things that I share with my family and I share with my friends. And a lot of that's oriented on de home decor and things that we can actually use, you know. Might be, you know, small tables that I create and decorate like this or different things. But, <clears throat> so early on I was doing things that were neutral and were milder and more subtle, you know, so that it wouldn't dominate the room or it Some wouldn't dominate yes. the thing. Yeah, yep. sure. And, uh, and so that's what I was doing. Now I did, a, a lot of different pieces, but I did one, one and uh, really at the time I had no intention of actually putting them on the line. I did a, a St. Francis, <clears throat> fairly large okay, and highly detailed. And um, the people, some of my friends said, look, put, why don't you put this on the line? I said, well, it doesn't really, you know, go with, you know, <laughs> what I normally, what right. I normally do. They say, yes, it does. You can put this right in the midst of all your colored stuff and it'll be just right, right there. And it, it, you know, and it's, it'll be perfect and it's you and it's all this, all this sort of thing. So I said, well, you know, okay. So I went to the license, fo the folks I licensed with, the folks up in Chicago mm -hmm. and Esco. And I, I said, you know, we've got this little bit different styling here, you know, and, and I presented it. They loved it. They were willing to take a, you know, risk on it. And we put that out in a, a collection of the, the the pieces I normally do. I did the St. Francis, right. and I did the uh, you know the, the Santas and the angels and, and so forth, and uh, and it just took off like crazy. And people didn't say, oh, that's a deviation from Jim Shore. No, that's just Jim Shore. That's just another thing he does. Just like I do the black and gold, or I do the you know I do the turkey red, or I do the you know the the blue nativity and stuff like that, where it's monochromatic. That's accepted too. And yep. and this has been accepted like nobody's business. And usually because of the fact it started off as a as a thing for um, um, oh uh, Saint Francis. Okay. It, it it emphasizes 
you know, that love, that gentleness, that, that you know, that caring, sharing, the animals. you know, uh, yeah. protecting, you know, the animals. And so it's the woodland theme just fits in perfect. And so well, that's every time you, you divulge a little bit more of yourself and maybe change up your style just a little bit, it's like finding out that your favorite rock and roll guitarist, I didn't know he also played the harmonica, the banjo, <laughs> the harp, the harpsichord, you know, you just, yeah. every day, you amaze me. There's a Facebook comment from Carolyn. She simply says she loves everything you do. Wow. Thank you, Carolyn. I really appreciate that. I really do. But uh, there, are, there are two quintessential things, though, that have defined you. At Christmas, it's your angels. Well, maybe three. Angels and your Santas. And then in the spring, it's your Easter baskets. I'll tell you what. One of my favorite pieces that I've done in White Woodland is, you know, will come up eventually. We'll see it eventually. Right. Is the the, uh, the, the oversized white nativity. Oh. Now, okay. That's. I just have to say it's one of my favorite <laughs> pieces. <laughs> well, that. This, <laughs> so it, you know, I've I've created in the white the white uh, you know or the woodland um, a, a variety of, of things based on what I normally do. Right. This without a doubt is probably one of my more uh, com you know detailed mm -hmm. and uh, and and useful also because you can take this and you don't have to just use it with the eggs in it no. you, once again you can use this as a centerpiece or you can use it along with that bunny we just had or different things yep. and, and that can be part of a scene a storytelling it can be filled with candy or potpourri or flowers or you know uh, colored eggs you know that the kids do or whatever you want to do and it's a useful usable thing that is also a piece of artwork and it's also a piece of uh, piece of me that's yes and I treat all of my pieces that I've ever received and, and ever purchased with reverence but I use them yeah. they, as they don't belong as behind velvet ropes yeah. in glass can they should be touched and felt and experienced and, and just the little birdies and I've got to create I was talking you and I were in the green room. I don't know how you do it. I want you to look, our audience, something as simple as the dot of an eye on that bird. Somehow you give that bird a personality, an expression. I can tell that that little bird, when it tweets, it tweets a little higher in pitch than maybe other birds. <laughs> it's just, and it was a dot. Uh, I don't know how you do this. And when you, your owl cracks me up, these are just dots, but can you feel that owl? Well, that's uh, that's what I try to get across. You know, I pay attention to every little detail, and you know, when I'm working on, like, say, the owl or the bird or you know, the bunnies or so forth, it's like working on a uh, that is an, a project by itself. All by itself. You can yeah. I, I can tell when you do this yeah. stuff that okay, if we go back to like this little squirrel right here, and that squirrel is as big as my little finger. Okay. It's, the, the basket has all these different worlds. You can tell when you're doing that squirrel, the rest of the world ceases to exist. That happens all the time, and it's a, it's a wonderful feeling to get so immersed in your work that it's just, it becomes. Time passes. You and you your work. You forget to eat. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I drool. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, now, if you're gonna get this, get it now. Do not wait mm. till later. Already, since 9 p.m., and. For QVC2, uh, at 9 p.m., we kick off our new deal of the day. We've had 3,700 of these already purchased. There's a limited number that Jim and, and his people can even present to us. But thank you. If we didn't say this already, thank you and thank you again that you presented this to us and to our audience alone. This is exclusive to QVC, QVC2. Well, one of the things that I always am so pleased about presenting things to QVC, uh, you know, as an exclusive, is that I know our our QVC family out there, and you know, we've been together. You and I have been together for a long time, and, and we've 15, all we've both years. been together with with our QVC family of yeah. viewers out there, and we know them. And when I put something on here, I know it's going to be appreciated, yeah. you know, by the folks out there as much as I appreciate them. And, and so it's a, it's a mutual thing. But I, I've got to admit, as a collector, and it's now my collection of what you do started with Crash, mm -hmm. with, with your mangers. Yep. Uh, but I've gotten to know this gentleman. So, you know, you kind of, you kind of feel like an insider when 
when a piece like this comes up and it's not everywhere else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is special. And I also love 